Hey everybody, Matt Hill, I'm in Oklahoma City at the Oklahoma Oil and Gas uh, Expo, right? One of our very dear friends, uh, well, I'll let you take it away. Tell okay. Me you are. Well, last <laughs> I am... time I messed with you just to see if I could be like, you can't get her. It's... <laughs> okay, I am Sarah Crable Mizell. I work for Midcontinent Energy Exchange. We're an oil and gas asset auction, like uh, similar to EnergyNet, but we also have live auctions. Um, you have an amazing husband. I do have an amazing Cherish. husband. He's he's a you great booth babe. Cameo. We just stick your head in here, husband. Look at this guy. Follow play, him play on his own social media channels. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Beautiful family, kids. Uh, I mean, you're just you're you're people I support. Thank you. That's why Likewise. I brought you into this thing so I, I could uh, make sure you thrive. It's, it is always fun. It's always fun to be interviewed by you. I'm, I'm, I have no doubt it's not, but that's, <laughs> that's okay. So 30,000 foot view, Sarah, mm -hmm. what is the Midcon Energy Exchange? Okay. It's very similar to eBay yeah. in that, and I don't think I'm supposed to say that, that's but it is, people need it is. 3,000 foot view if you don't know anything about oil and gas. Yes. It's very, very similar to eBay, except for it's for oil and gas assets. Oh. So talking overrides, royalty interest, producing minerals, open minerals. Um, operations, partial working interests, um, and occasionally equipment. Like I, like we've had a full drilling rig on here. We've had pump shags. We've had engines. We've had like mud pits. Um, we've just kind of had a plethora of everything. But the the main things that we sell would be the overrides, the royalties, the open minerals, the operations, partial working interests. If you're out there. You should diversify your, you know, your investments mm -hmm. and you should buy or sell your oil and gas assets you yeah know, look, look into all possible ways to get involved in our industry yes We're safe bet it's not going away We're, it's going to be there for a long time and uh if you're if you like to research oil and gas assets and you're savvy about what you pick out you can definitely plan it to pick you know something with a very low decline that's going to be giving you mailbox money for a lot of months to come but yeah it's a you know everybody i think everybody should diversify you know there are a lot of people that like to buy real estate or you know rental houses or uh you know just different things and this is just a, another way to diversify your income and you know one thing one thing's in the tank right now oil and gas might be what's you know holding you what's up. holding you up so yeah. it's good to diversify what's your uh what's your forecast what what do you see uh this growing into what would you like this to become well, because you're going to pass this on to the next generation. It has grown so much since I started. I think I started in 2017. It has grown so much. It used to be just a quarterly auction, okay. um, quarterly live auction. And now we have, we do have live auctions, but we also have weekly online auctions every Tuesday at mceonline.com. Um, it's grown so much in that regard. It's grown so much in how many people... Um, our viewing our auctions, how many, you know, I have people from all over the United States to look at our auctions where it used to just be Kansas people. Now it's, now it's everywhere. And people in, we've got people in England looking at them. I've got people in Canada. Um, so everything about it has grown. Countries, they can buy their own minerals under their feet. Anyways, that, really America is their only way to do that. I, and I'm, I am not sure on that, but I, but I know that, that, you know, things are, America. things can be different from, from even state to state. Um, what you're allowed to do, but um... it's okay. I mean, <laughs> I, mean, I get it. it. There's a there's so many layers to peeling back all the regulations, all the right. laws. You know what's going to happen in the future with all this. We we never know. But mm -hmm. I just I feel like our country's energy savvy enough mm -hmm. to continue to want to you know promote oil and gas mm -hmm. and go out and discover you know ways to invest their own. Uh -huh. In something that will give them real returns. Mm -hmm. It can't all be stuff. Well, and what's nice too is that there's something for everybody. There's something for people that don't want to take risks at all, and then there's assets for people that don't mind taking a risk. Risk. So it, you can get into whatever you're comfortable with at, at whatever price range. So I guess what I see as our forecast is I always I want to keep us to where we're a company that caters to people of all um, income ranges. I don't want it to only be people that earn a million dollars a year who can afford to get into oil and gas. I like it that people who only make $40,000 a year can still afford to get into oil and gas to some degree. And, um, I want to stay like that. I also want to keep our good customer service going. Um, that's what I want to promote for her. You know, 
and I don't think they pat themselves on the back enough, but if you're a buyer or a seller, you guys are really great at bringing people together and making sure both parties are happy, not Thank only you. with your own service, but with their own deals. Yeah. And we can't, we can't afford not to be. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> we're so small. We have to. The people you've put yeah. together will probably always want to do business. Yes, that's true because we will, because we always, we will hold your hand through it. If you've never done it before, yeah. if something isn't right, we'll work with you. To she get it right. Stop you mid uh, mid auction and go, Matt. Stop raising your hand on that when you're going to get crazy. I I've, I've been known to say I think you bid you bid high enough on this one, yeah. Because I'm going to protect the people that don't know what they're doing. Because sometimes I should probably mind my own business, but I I don't want people making decisions that are bad for them. So well, frequently I have. It's not going to be good for, for the buyer or the seller, right? Or the business or if if they make a br wrong move. So she cares. well, I yeah. If if some if there's somebody brand new, to oil and gas, I'm not going to let them buy a negative interest, part, you know, negative income partial working interest. I'm not going to let them do that. You know, no. sometimes you you just you have to help people out because you don't want to see them. Make All right, so decisions. how do people get a hold of you? What, what's the website? I wish it was listed on here. We're going to get a new booth here soon. But you guys, are, <laughs> you're here. That's what we're here, and we love our people. Um, M C E E Online dot com. So that stands for Midcontinent Energy Exchange. So M C E E Online dot com. And of course, you will see her because I will continually repost anything she does on LinkedIn. So I appreciate go on there and join a uh, auction or. It doesn't have to be an option. You can just go buy. You can go look. Anytime. Yeah. There we go. That's right. Take Thank you, care. Matt. God bless. Follow Midcon Energy Exchange and uh, good luck to you out there, investors. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you, Matt. You're welcome.